Take the exit to merge onto M1 toward the south. peeps it's your boy Ellis so you might be wondering why the hell are you in an empty car park by yourself I don't know if some of you guys recognize this car park but around a week ago an individual said boring car it's just you know it's just not that interesting so today I'm gonna confront him and prove to him that my car is not boring so this is from a Seat family my Seat boys we're gonna show all these s3 owners that talk down on the lovely Seat 280 I'm not gonna say that name again lovely Seat 280 that is not as boring as they make it out to be so we're just gonna stay here for a bit and wait for him to arrive he's probably like you know running a bit behind because the car is, is a bit slow as you know all that weight from the four-wheel drive makes it a bit slow um, so yeah that's probably why he's, he's delayed but yeah we'll see him when he gets here So he's actually doing his comparison video for his um, channel. Um, I was actually meant to be doing one as I've been saying for you guys for a while now. Like I had an S3, my mate had an S3 and he was out filming but I think he got a bit busy and we haven't finished filming so I might just get the last few bits <laughs> with Beasted over there and yeah and just complete that video as well. So I'll let him do his thing. So let's have an RS3, it would be the RS3 saloon. Thing's so amazing. Not the not the hatchback the saloon. He regrets not getting an a <laughs> If I get in it, i Now you won't break it, go on. I know you broke your first one. It broke itself. <laughs> I must say I do absolutely love the interior of the S3 like. It's just so prestige and well stitched like the moment you touch the steering wheel and it feels so solid like it's just well stitched together and I do love the fact that the cup holders are up there I don't know why my cup holders are down here but I do like them up there for some reason I don't know why I think I just avoid my elbow from hitting them over or something that cup holder looks prestiged <laughs> how are you comparing cup holders electric handbrakes definitely a no-no <laughs> hate them and uh, it's more or less the same car I do like these like fire switch kind of effect and the, the lighting around the ACs, the AC, blah, blah, blah. The digital display, they've come, they're coming. I've got a son if he hasn't, so that's a win. <laughs> uh, but they are more or less, obviously, as you guys know, they're more or less the same cars. And he's got 18 inches. I've got 19. 19 win-win. The bigger, 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 the better, as they say. So I'm winning so far. And his, his, his headlights are shit. His headlights are so crap. I mine is like, I told him better. You can't even see him. Like, can you even see him? No, you can't. Oh. This feels so comfy. I suppose it's just down to personal preference. Yeah. It's really solid. That's my take on it. There we go. Hi. <laughs> She'll be fine. Competing interior, I think, is the uh, Golf R. The Mercs are mad though. Mercs, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I didn't. That's why I didn't even say A45 because they're in a different league. Yeah, they don't make cars in this category. No, they this, don't. And even if it's the A class, it won't be the. A, it won't. It'll be like the A2, two, two yeah, something. It's not, yeah, it's not A45. So. A45 is mad money. Yeah. So it's not in the same. They need way. to put something down at this category to compete think, yeah. with those, with these cars. Sure. I'm now gonna have to. I was saying I literally can't fault the interior of this car. It really looks lovely. I've probably been went on about it like three times in this video, but the interior of this car alone is really so easy. Like you can physically see the difference in quality. Like you, not even about touching, you can physically see the difference in quality compared to my car. But it's really, really nice. Like the seats are just like so firm. Like that's the only like I, he said my he, he said he thinks my seats are a lot better because they hug you, but I like these seats a lot better because they're just so firm and solid. And I re feel really premium. But I guess it's personal preference as well. Going out for a quick little running boosted in the boosted mobile. Mm, boosted mobile. <laughs> the boosted mobile. 
Um, as he said in his video, he's got a resonator delete, so this car does sound a lot better than the one that I I haven't uploaded yet, but I might do soon. It sounds a lot better than that one. So, I, like exhaust is as we were saying, like creates such a like a complete it different does. experience it really does. in it, a like, car. It makes you love your car so much. Yeah, more. and like when you don't have to go like super fast to really enjoy it. No. Just like just to pop some bangs, like from yeah. the, like first to second. Oh. I won't pop some bangs badly. Yeah, really bad. Read that. I, I still can't go back. My last video, that exhaust is perfect. I think I'm. I've just ordered it. Like I've just ordered it. I was just. We're just here talking. Like you know, what? I'm ordering the exhaust right now. So yeah, I can't wait for that to come. Like so, in January, sometimes I go down, get it fitted, and you have a pop and bag video. Pop and bag. A DSG pop and bag video. Manuals all the way. Manuals 100%. Yeah. I'll do a video on why I bought DSG. I need to do the same thing. Because the amount of people in the comments yeah. are like, "You're an well, idiot." Yeah, I know. I got that a few times as well. Why DS? Why DSG? Like people are like, "Oh, it's a nice car, but that thing in the middle that does not go very well." No. <laughs> I do agree with the. I didn't get the whole connection feeling because obviously I've never owned a DSG until now. Mm -hmm. But I do now understand what it means. You feel so much more connected when you have a manual. Yeah, because you, you you're a part of the mechanism yeah, yeah. that makes the car drive. So with this, it's just it kind of does it. Itself. And I always think like I can do better than what this is doing. You ever yeah. feel like, I always feel like you're doing the wrong thing, mate. Just, like, just listen to my brain. You're shifting the wrong way. <laughs> exactly. Like... Even though it's like, oh, it's the best, the fastest shift. But you're still like, I know what I want. Yeah. That's the only downside. But it's still fun. The thing is, the car doesn't know what the car doesn't know yeah. what terrain you're on, or like yeah, yeah. if you're about to take a corner. So you're always just as if you were going in a straight line. So. <laughs> So nice. The, 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 the bangs are the one. The rest you don't get that in in a manual, do you? No. Nah, exactly. That's 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 why you get a, a that's DSG. That's the reason I bought yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Because like, I'd always hear them driving around. Yeah. Like, you hear golf cars, and SRE is normal. Like I'm driving around, you hear them make that noise. You're like, that is such an aggressive, yeah. lovely noise. Well, entering Mexico now, so yeah, entering Mexico. Legal. Passports. Oop. <laughs> This car is loud. This car is super, that, that car is lovely. Oh wow, that is loud. That is like so perfect. One, get out of the way. Your rival. Okay, so finally we're going to do a little drag. From 30 miles an hour, because obviously, from zero miles an hour, it's pretty. Not going to, go ahead, I'm fine. From zero miles an hour, it's pretty much pointless because he's just going to eat me alive. So from 30 miles an hour, and I actually think I'm going to have this one for the, the fact that he's got like 20 more bhp than me, but I've got I'm I'm I weigh a lot less. Well, not a lot, but I weigh a decent amount less. So, oh lads, comment below. Who do you think is going to win this drag? I'm really pumped for it. Obviously, his his point of view is going to be on his channel, and my point of view is going to be right here. Okay, Ed Sheeran, I've had enough of you now. This is a serious time. We need some some DMX. So I've given away my little secret. Basically, in these, I think it's all the Golf R's, the S3s now, and the Cupra. They've got like an extra throw, a throttle like three centimeters, as I mentioned in like my last video. Like you put your foot down completely flat, and then just to like three centimeters more to travel. So you really have to plant your foot down for, to get like for, to get the full like 290 bhp if that makes sense so i've just explained that to him and he found out so now my chances of winning have uh, kind of dropped because now i think before if he didn't know that then he wouldn't have he wouldn't have put full power down and i would have definitely had him but now he's gonna put full power down and if i spin whatsoever then i'm gonna lose ground whereas he can just keep his foot planted all the way down I'm thinking if I should turn traction control off so it doesn't cut power. Yeah, I'm turning traction control off. I'm turning it semi off, not all the way off, because I don't want the power to be cut. This is oh finally finally we get to see what which car is officially faster from 30 miles an hour. Whew, come on boosted. You're not boosted today, mate. Think you got a leak? <laughs> He's got less petrol as well. He's got half a tank, I've got a full tank. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not making an excuse, I'm just saying. I really don't know which way this is going to go. Obviously I do, I've got confidence in myself. 
We're confident in you, boy. I know you've got this. I know we have got this, okay? Team talk before the race. We've got this. We're not gonna let some posh Audi get the better of us, okay? We've got this. We have got this. Okay, we're lining up in our sights. Let's line up in our sights. Okay, neck and neck. 30 miles an hour. I got that one. Yes, I. You know I was catching off. I was like, you pulled away, but then I started to catch off. I got him. I got you. That. Yeah. That. I got you. I'm so sad. Like I saw the camera down, and I was like, please tell me you got it. I'm like, I hope you got it before it went down. I don't know when it went down. I don't know when it went down either. I'm like, oh, please tell me you got it. Yeah, but he's already making excuses. He said that he's, he held his camera in his hand and blah, blah, blah. So I started to pull in and I'm super gassed because that just shows that this bad boy is just as quick as an S3, regardless of the four wheel traction, just not off the line. Then you get like done. But like, ah, oh, look at them both together. That's so nice. We've got all the footage. We've had a fun time, both cars. Came out with the conclusion that it's down to personal preference. I'm not going to say mine is better. <laughs> it's down to personal preference, but both cars are really lovely. Um, At the end of the day, even if you won, yeah. you know, I will never admit it because I'm just so <laughs> salty about it. But if you yeah, did yeah. win, either way, they're two brilliant cars, so it's just completely down to what you like. Yeah. You know, they're both great cars either way. Uh, so. Yeah, and it's getting like super dark now because it gets dark at like four o'clock. Yeah. So subscribe, just subscribe to Boosted. You probably are are already but if not then do that and i will see you guys in the next video peace bye bye boosted bye bye see you soon see you soon see you soon <laughs> oh got the ac on full blast to cool the engine down from that blasting around oh. let's set my sat nav to home he hasn't got a sat nav haha <laughs> boosted you haven't got a sat nav the roots are being calculated yeah, calculate those roots boy Come on. That's the only thing. Maybe because I'm in the forest, it's going to take forever. Um, two hours, five minutes. Ow, 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 ow. Please follow. 